everyone, welcome back to the Anything Cook. It's me, Kashmira. Today I'll be showing you how to make guar furry. It's just fried tiny beans uh, with masala. This is a perfect vegetarian dish. It's quick and easy to make and it's available at most of your vegetable markets. You're probably wondering what happened to us over the past few months. Well, you know, all celebrities need a break. So we took a short break, but now we're back at full swing. So if you enjoyed our video today, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, to click the subscribe button and to leave a comment in the comment section below. So let's get started. So let's look at the ingredients. Over here I have some guar, also known as tiny beans or custard beans. So I've chopped and tailed the beans and cut them in half and it's just soaking in water so I can rinse them and clean them. Over here I have some jira seeds some ajwain seeds or, or carom seeds, danajira powder, turmeric powder, ginger garlic paste and red a green chili paste. And here I've got some asafoetida. I've got a little bit of lemon here to squeeze at the end, some sliced onions, fresh curry leaves and a dried red chili. So let's get started. Okay, so I have a pan here, a non-stick pan on the stove. I'm using non-stick so that I don't have to use a lot of oil. The less oil, the better. So I'm just going to add a little bit just to fry my spices in. We have to wait for the oil to get hot before we add the spices in. Alright, so our oil looks hot enough. To that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of ajmore or carom seeds. I'm going to add one teaspoon of jira seeds, one dried red chili, and just a pinch of a safetida powder. Okay, so we're just going to allow this to fry until it becomes fragrant. And the chili just starts to turn a little bit black, but it mustn't burn or else it's going to taste better. Okay, so my spices have been frying here on a medium heat for just under a minute. If I turn over the chili, you actually see that it's darkened a bit and you know now it's ready. You can smell the fragrance of the, the seeds and the spices. So now we are ready to add the onions. So we'll leave that to sit for a little bit and then we'll come back to it in about a minute or two. The onions have been frying for about three minutes. They're now translucent, just about to turn brown and soft. So now, you know, we are ready to add the beans. So here are my tiny beans. I've washed them and rinsed them. So I'm just going to add it to the pan. Give it a stir. I'm adding one spoon of curry leaves, one heat teaspoon of garlic ginger paste, and about half a teaspoon of green chili paste. You can add um, as much green chilies or red chilies as you want to, according to taste. I've just mixed in the garlic and ginger and chili so that they can fry a little bit with the beans. And now we can add our masala. I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, a level teaspoon of danajira powder. You're going to add a little bit more towards the end, so don't put too much in. Don't forget to add salt to taste. So now after we've added our masalas, we're going to turn the heat onto a low heat and we're going to let the beans saute in the masalas. We don't add any water to this, let it cook in its own juices. After giving it a good mix so all the masala is evenly distributed, we can now put a lid over it 
and let it steam on this low heat for about 15 minutes then we'll come back to it and take a look. Cooking times may vary depending on the freshness of the beans but you'll know it's ready when the colour becomes much more dull and darker and they look a bit more shriveled. So let's cover this and leave it for 15 minutes. Okay, so our beans have been steaming on a low heat for about 15 minutes. So I'm just going to take a look at it. So you can see now the color has changed from a bright a green hue to a more dull, darker green color. So it's almost done. I think we need to leave it for another 15 minutes. Just give it a stir so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. If you cook it on a low heat, it's easier to keep an eye on because it doesn't burn as fast and it allows the, the beans to cook in their own juices. This goes with most Indian vegetables. Um, you normally cook them on a low heat, uh, let it cook in its own juices and you don't add water. And the flavor really does come out when you cook it like that. Right, so let's close the pot, leave it for another 15 minutes and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so our beans have been cooking for like half an hour now. They've been steaming nicely. I'm just going to give it a stir. So it looks ready now. Uh, before I take it off the heat, I'm going to squeeze in a little bit of lemon juice. This is because um, these beans can be a little bit bitter. So let's just squeeze some lemon juice over there. That will help balance the, the flavors. The butter and the sour you can actually steam them for longer if you want them softer if you want them more crunchy then you can take it off sooner I like mine soft so I'm going to remove it off the heat now and then we are ready to serve 